Sawitri has a strong vision for what she wants to see in Malaysia's education system achieve in the next 10 years. She has great personal stories from her childhood and personal experience teaching in Malaysian school. Sawitri's ability to increase her own self-efficacy. Sawitri doesn't wait around for others to tell her how she can improve. She always reflects on her strengths and weaknesses to seek solutions on how to get better. Okay, um, hi, my name is Savitri. Uh, I am a Malaysian Thai. Um, I was born in Bali, Kuta in 1984. Um, so I spent uh, the first five years of my childhood uh, back in my hometown. My dad, Charun, his name is Charun Naikwan, he used to work as a army officer, uh, but he's now retired. Um, my mom, Sopong Bun Leong, she is a housewife. So um, I spent a good five years uh, back in my hometown with my grandparents and after that my parents decided to make the big move to KL because my dad got a job in Kuala Lumpur. There was a big, there was a big change because growing up in the kampong in the first five years of my life with my grandmother, we had the experience of being in the kampong so we used to go and play at the kebun and we used to climb trees and go fishing so it was really fun. And then when we came to KL, it was totally different. It was being in the city, we had to learn to speak English. My first language is Thai, my second language is BM. Uh, when I came to KL, I realized that nobody else speaks Thai. So that was, that was a bit of a, of, a, of, of, of a challenge as well for me. But um, yeah, so that's, that's the story of my childhood. Okay, so um, being a minority, uh, when we first moved to KL, my parents were initially very much concerned about whether we're getting enough interaction uh, with people from our own community. So my parents really wanted us to understand what it is um, like to be a Thai and they really want us to be able to speak in Thai and to practice the, our cultural um, values and traditions. So together with a few other Thai families in KL, they decided to set up a small play group for all of us. And so what we used to do was we used to have um, play dates, we went for vacations together and school holidays we would get together, just a few of us kids. And so that really made me um, understand more what it is to be a Thai and up until today I still uphold my values and my traditions. And um, my parents my parents did not come from um, wealthy backgrounds like my father only started school when he was nine but he persevered and he worked really hard my mom did not go to university in fact even my father did not go to university he only got a diploma when he was 40 years old and that really motivated us the kids to study hard because if my dad could do it when he was 40 years old and he was studying part-time and he was working at the same time, that means we should be able to do better than he was able to. Um, but my parents really understood the value of education from young, so we were encouraged to read from young. Um, we were encouraged to be creative and to pursue things which we have interest in. And so that's that's what I. So those are some of the experiences that really shaped me into who I am today. At Teach for Malaysia, I work as a leadership development officer. And a huge part of my job is to keep people inspired and motivated towards the mission. And, you know, it's easy to teach people skills, it's easy to give them knowledge, but when it comes to keeping people inspired, it involves mindset and beliefs. And these two things are usually the most difficult to change. And so as a leadership development officer, I find that that is my biggest challenge because I need to keep on getting my fellows inspired and, and moving forth with the mission despite all the challenges that they are facing in the classroom. And as we also know that change in the education system does not happen overnight. It takes a long time and it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of perseverance. And that is also a challenge for me as a leadership development officer to make sure that my people, my fellows will continue to to sustain that passion and motivation so that we could actually achieve our goals. Um, I try to keep a very positive outlook towards life. I believe that when things don't go my way or if I face any challenges, all I need to do is just change my perspective. Because I cannot change circumstances, but I can change how I react um, to those circumstances. Um, knowing that I am 
working for a good cause, knowing that every little effort that I put in into my work every day makes a difference um, in the lives of the, the children that our fellows are working with, um, that keeps me going. And also the little things in life, you know, just like listening to raindrops and feeling the, 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 the sand beneath my feet, these are the little things that really keep me, keep me going. And also my family, I really treasure um, the relationship that I have with my parents as well as my siblings. They have always been there for me and being able to just have a phone call um, with them or having a good dinner with them, that really keeps me going. Strength is what we de develop from the mind. Um, take care of your mind and your mind will be able to take care of everything. Um, whatever challenge that you have, whatever difficulties that you may face, just keep positive and change your perspective if you have to. I am courageous, I am easygoing, I am steadfast, I am positive and I'm happy.